Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, being broke ain't for me. That's why I keep my grip on me. I am not a wrestler. Can't trust nobody, yes. Sir. Gotta keep that pressure. Ball heads like Uncle Fester. They say I'm next to cooking in the lab like a professor. When I leave my crib, I put my heart on the dresser. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification game, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to everybody. If it's real, y'all can tell. Y'all can see it in their eyes. It's your turn. See if you can make it. Believe them lies. Time. Geechee Gotti. Salute to Geechee Gotti. No studio in the whole West Coast and all of that. He's just coming off of his battle versus Loaded Lux. And the work, it just doesn't stop. Like, this guy has an unreal work ethic, I must say that. Um, I did interview him about the A-Ward battle. It is um, on the channel. If you, I'll, I'll put it in the pinned comments. And I asked him some questions, you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you taking A-Ward now? You know what I'm saying? You just battle Loaded Lux. Loaded Lux to A-Ward. It's a significant jump, not talent-wise, but where they're at, you know what I'm saying? Like, A-Ward's never battled on URL. Loaded Lux is like one of them ones. But um, he, he had some very good answers. He said, yo, he's trying to build generational wealth. He's continuing to work. Like, he doesn't want to stop working. In the No Jumper interview, he stated that he battles frequently, more frequently than people think, because that keeps him out of trouble. It keeps him out of the streets. It keeps him invested. He don't want to go two, three, four months without battling you know what I'm saying? And then it's like some shit to go down. He's in the street and all of that. So I definitely respect the fact that he's uh, he's handling this career smartly. Now, while I say handling his career smartly, this man has went on to call out Reed Dollars of all people. Salute to Reed Dollars. Philly Zone. Legendary. Uh, he's just coming off of a battle with Murder Mook. That battle was not the greatest. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be honest on both sides. Even though I have Reed winning the battle... It just was what it was. But um, we're not going to do that. We're going to, um, you know, try to stay with it. So, Geechee says, Reed Dollars, I'm on a legend killer spree. Where you at? You and Mook left hollow. I'm on your heels too. No vet left behind. Tour continues. Where Geechee Gotti is basically trying to eradicate all of the faces, the veterans, that, that old legend tier. He wants to smoke every single one of them. Not just some, all of them, before they're done with battle rap. Reed Dollar's response, he says, I was planning my retirement, but I got room for one more casket before I depart. A Geechee, heard he was looking for me. Heard he was looking for me. I heard, I heard Geechee got he was looking for me. December 18th, Geechee got he comments, so I would not... Be surprised if on the next volume card we see Geechee Gotti versus Reed Dollars. Um, now I know a lot of y'all going. I already know how y'all gonna roll with this. Oh, Geechee three o, Geechee three o, Reed's not being Geechee Gotti. A lot of y'all said the same thing about Rum Nitty and clearly winning that battle. Throw dirt on the floor, sound like Briz. I don't want to murder no more. That was a fire version of Reed. I think it's just my personal opinion. Who am I? I'm just a nigga with a camera. I think that Reed should battle in small rooms only. I don't think the stage, the big stage, is suited for what he does at this point in his career. I just don't. like, And it's not, it's, it's not taking nothing to, from him. Still volumes, still big cards, still big names. But the way battle rap is moving right now, it's moving more towards the performance era. More towards... The punchlines, the back-to-back, -back, the you know what Geechee said up against Lux. Uh, I shoot up where the candles at. I individual by myself. That sh that line got slept on by a lot of people. But it's more of a punchline-ish era. You know what I'm saying? Where the people who rap in repetitive flows, like they, they it ain't it ain't really the same no more. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like it's not room for these niggas. There's room for the Reeds. There's, I've always supported Reed Dollar because I felt like there's a lot of people that Reed hasn't battled yet. Because Reed had a moment in time in his career where he wasn't around the battle scene. 
So there's mad people he has not battled yet, which is a good thing because it can help continue to flourish. And I know there was a lot of people who had once questioned whether they even wanted to see Reed. Like, I don't want to see him, yada, 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 he's not good. But then he started having more better performances. His performance versus Surf was good. His performance versus uh, Nitty was good. You know what I'm saying? And he continued to build and build and build. And then the Murder Move battle happened. I understood why it happened from a legacy perspective, but both of them just did not. It was, I, I, I'm sorry. I got nothing for you. Sorry. I, it's just it's what it is. It's, it's not one that I would... I don't need... I think it might... Out of that event... I know Let's Talk Battle Rap does all the stats and all of that. I think it was one of the least reacted to battles of the whole night. And it was a main event. And it's not really Reed's fault. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... It is what it is. But... With a Geechee Gotti, I do think more of a volume setting battle, even if it did happen on a volume in a smaller room, Geechee Gotti would be predicted to win and Reed Dollars would be the underdog. But he's been the underdog in damn near every battle. I don't I think the Murder Moot battle was probably the first battle that I picked Reed without a shadow of a doubt to win. I just picked Reed, 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 Reed and then Reed actually won it. But um for Geechee, you know what I'm saying, like, to, for him to continue this level of battle rap, I don't think we've ever seen somebody that we want to see. You know what I'm saying? There's other niggas who battle every week. We just did some of these niggas we don't really want to see like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just being honest with you. You know what I'm saying? It, it, we ain't going to the Hall of Fame, and I got to call no names. But there's certain niggas, they battle very often. But when they do, we like, okay. I'm talking about at a high level. Every fucking card. This nigga's on card after card after card. You're like, damn, when is this nigga gonna kick his feet up and take a break? He's not taking a break. And nobody has cracked, really cracked the code as of yet. And you know, I see people trying to hit me up like, oh, Lux one, Lux one. And listen, I, I feel you. I saw the battle more than once. I still feel the same. The bar breakdown's coming, but at the same time, beating him on the big stage. Man, it's not it's not as easy as maybe some may think, you know what I'm saying? And now, like I said, it's a different type of era right now. The man's fan base is so big, he could damn near do no wrong. Like, and not to mention that, he's got other ventures. Got the no studio man, got the clothes, got so many business ventures to do battle rap the right way. And there have been other talented MCs who've got shine. Who you know what I'm saying got got a name with URL and all of that, but them niggas don't be doing it. Niggas ain't got no radio shows. Niggas ain't really got no clothing line. Niggas ain't really doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like they just battle, show up, battle, go home. That's not enough to keep you at the top of the game, regardless of who it is. If the shoe fits, buy a pair. It's not enough. Just battling, showing up every month and a half, is not enough to help propel you. Yeah, you'll get followers. Yeah, you'll get. A platform, yeah, you'll get a blue check on Instagram, but that your kids can't eat that check off the ground. I'm sorry, unless you monetize getting money off that. But I will say this: uh, I do see the the method behind the madness in his uh, frequent battles, uh, and he could get anybody he wants now. If he really truly wants to battle Reed next month, you're gonna see him on a card versus Reed next month. That's just the position that he's in, calling shots right now. And you know what? I say don't stop. Fuck it. Keep running it. Keep running it until somebody. If you, you know, they say if you can't stop, if they can't stop you in the post, go to the post every time until they do something to stop it. That's just what it is. But in a small room, I'm going to get you two one because he's got a award like a week or so before. And, you know, the product, when you battling that often, I'm not saying it dumbs down to the point where you want some losing shit, but it just be very hard to keep up that amount of volume and that amount of work, you know what I'm saying? Battle after battle after battle after battle after battle. And I've seen that in certain ones, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll have moments where he had glitches and shit like that. When he battled A-Ward, he was slippy glippy, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, 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 he admitted it himself in the interview, you know what I'm saying? I think you should, I think y'all definitely should, but, um... Watch that joint. But anyway, salute to every single one of y'all. Salute to my boy, Zoo. This is his birthday this weekend, you know what I'm saying? Salute to everybody whose birthday is coming around. Thanksgiving's coming soon, you know what I'm saying? It's getting colder outside, you know what I'm saying? It's that grind. It's that grind time of season. But other than that, man, salute to Geechee Gotti. Salute to Reed Dollars. Hope we see it. And it is what it is. Gang, gang. Ain't lonely. Yeah. Ain't broke. Ain't for me. Yeah. That's why I keep
is my crib for me I am not a wrestler, can't trust nobody, yes it Gotta keep that pressure, bald heads like Uncle Fester They say I'm next to cooking in the lab like a professor When I leave my crib, I put my heart on the dresser Them hoes, you peer pressure, don't believe none never With me, they never clever, skip that shit like a record My bitch bad, she hold the record, swear